Hey, what's up? This is Jared with the Daily App Show. We're brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Here are some coupon codes to save you some money over at GoDaddy on your order and all that good stuff. So today we're going to take a look at Easy Trails GPS. Now this is a great application for those of you that are runners or joggers or hikers or bike riders or any of that stuff. Um, there are apps out there that do this type of thing, but some of them are very cluttered, some of them are difficult to get around, and are not very accurate even. So this application, very accurate, very clean and well put together, and it allows you to record your tracks and save them and then view them later. So very cool. So you got to search for GPS. If you have your Wi-Fi turned on, then you're going to have a little bit longer of a wait. So uh, just so that I can show you how you would want to do this, let's go into settings, go into Wi-Fi, and turn that off. That is a best practice for GPS apps such as this because you could be jogging if you're jogging through a neighborhood and you could come across you know, somebody's Wi-Fi popping up onto your screen. could be kind of a pain, and you don't want to have to deal with that. So if you turn that off, then you're not going to get bothered with those uh, Wi-Fi signals that are going to pop up left and right um, as you're on your jog or your ride. So searching for that GPS uh, signal, our recorded tracks would show up in here. We can hit edit and delete those. And the coolest thing is the ability to be able to share those um, with uh, an external device um, to import or export tracks. And so we could do that by connecting uh, to a computer or something like that, hitting share. Um, if I'm connected Wi-Fi, I can also, uh, you know, connect and go to a web browser and grab, or an FTP software and grab the, uh, the tracks that are saved. So let's go back here. I can simply hit record when I'm ready to go. For some reason, it's still waiting for a signal, but I am indoors right now, and obviously there wouldn't be a whole lot to show you unless I was running around anyways. So um, you will get much better use of this app when you are outdoors. So let's also go and look at some of the settings. Let's go back to settings. They are under the settings menu as opposed to inside of the app. So I can see version, I can change my units here. Um, I can choose whether or not to zip those tracks. If the GPS is lost, play a sound effect. Because you can play music, you can launch music in your iPod and then go and use this app so that you can use your uh, iPhone as a music player and then also use it to record your trail information as well. So let's go back to the app and launch that. So if we had made any changes to um, uh, to our measurements, those would adjust here. Uh, if we were outside where a better GPS signal could be found, um, that obviously would be loading up as well. And then if we were moving, those things would adjust, like the altitude and the speed. Obviously, we are not moving anywhere at all right now, so that's not going to make a difference. And so I, I suggest that you download this app because it's very simple to use. It's very easy to get that information off of the app onto your computer so that you can plug it into all of the different websites and services and software and stuff that's out there nowadays that allow uh, for you to import uh, these tracks and then also export them. Maybe you had a bunch of stuff saved in one of your other devices and you wanted to load it into this app, you can do that. So it's a neat application to have for that. Easy Trails GPS, simple to use application. Um, obviously best used outdoors. I just don't have some sort of a rig where I can kind of take it outside and show you how it works and still have a decent quality review to show you. Um, just don't have that technology available yet. So definitely check out Easy Trails GPS, great application for recording your tracks getting that information in and out of your iPhone. Take care and we'll see you next time on the Daily App Show.